This is Young again in Hangang Drone Park. It's basically the same day as my last drone video, but with my ear muffy part up. <laughs> so that it looks a little different. But today I want to try something that I might actually regret. But I want to do it together with you guys so that so you guys are aware of some of the issues of DJI drones. And that is, yes, I do have Samsung phones. So this is like the representative of Android phone. A lot of you guys have actually mentioned, especially when Mavic Mini first rolled out, their Android phones are not compatible with Mavic Mini which actually meant that they had to return the device. Fortunately for me, I do use Samsung S10 Plus and it has been so far compatible, but there has been firmware update on DJI and there has been some software update for Samsung S10 Plus. So I'm actually quite curious whether software update will have an issue for me actually using the DJI Fly app to control this drone. One kind subscriber actually told me that he couldn't actually fly the drone after the update in Samsung phone. For me, I've done quite a bit of flying around in the first few days of January. So I'm now going to just have a go. Just going to All right guys, so now everything is updated. I'm a little bit nervous because this I'm actually doing it on the go. Oof. So let me go into the DJI Fly app. My batteries are kind of running out very soon, so I better start now. Oh, it's really cold. Let's actually start the drone. <laughs> What's going on? Oh my god, what is going on right now? Actually, my mistake. Sorry for causing all the drama. It actually says in the pre-flight check, where you can tap in the top left corner on the status of the flight. And it actually says unable to take off because I only have 17% left in the battery. Which is a little bit, you know, I think they should let me off at 10%. But that is the cause of it. I'm going to try again at my home to see whether it works. But when I went home and ensured that everything is updated, this is what I got. A white screen in DJI Fly app and it would not move for a while. And then I went to DJI.com website to see the supported device for DJI Fly app. And it actually clearly says that Android 10 beta version of Samsung Galaxy models is not currently supported. That gave me a chill. But luckily, the white screen actually went away and then the app was acting normal. So now you guys can feel free to actually update the Samsung software if you do have Samsung Galaxy phone. But when you're actually buying DJI products and you do happen to have Android device, please do check beforehand on the compatible device list. And if it's not compatible, they'll tell you please get another phone <laughs> and I really appreciate when you guys actually tell me all the tips about different devices compatible with all these DJI products that I'm testing out if you do have any other complaints about the Android device with DJI products feel free to comment down below I hope the comment section of this video can be a community for Android device user on DJI products for now I'm good to go and it's damn freezing so I'm gonna go back see you